Hello everyone, I'm Sharpedo43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be just a UU battle. My opponent for this battle is going to be your boy Scott, as in THE Scott. He's actually one of Deluxe Bananas moderators and he actually wanted to battle me, so I was like, hey, let's battle then. I asked him what tier he wanted to do and he said UU. Well, actually, no, he asked me what tier I wanted to do. He said he offered me OU or UU and I was like, let's do UU because I already did a couple of OU battles, so let's just do UU for once so I can like, you know, switch it up for once. And I do have a team that I want to try out as well, so I figured, yeah, let's do it. Let's um, do UU. And um, I know that Scott is a good battler. In fact, I know him because he battles Hayden quite a lot, and there was a battle where he almost beat Hayden, but Hayden just got lucky, so he won. <laughs> it's probably the most memorable battle that I remember from Scott, actually. But yeah, here he is, your boy Scott. Not gonna lie, he looks spiffy here, not gonna lie. But still. I'm gonna lead off with Raikou, as you can see. He's gonna lead off with Crocodile. Obviously, this lead is very, very terrible for me, because what the hell is my Raikou gonna do to a Crocodile? Especially if this Crocodile is definitely the Scar variant. Especially because I didn't see the, the Intimidate, so I'm definitely going to switch in Crobat. I, for some reason, was not expecting the knockoff, even though knockoff is a staple on Crocodiles. So as a result, I lose my Choice card for my Crobat, which sucks because I actually wanted to um, bluff that all, this entire match, and now I can't because he got rid of it early, and now he knows I have it, or had it. And yeah, now he's going to switch in the Hot Dog, which is the Arcanine. This is the same Hot Dog he used against Hayden in that one lucky battle. But still, I went for a U-turn with Crobat. Switching to Nihiligo. Here, I was gonna try to go for Power Gym, but I figured, you know what? Maybe he's gonna switch out, so I'm gonna go for Toxic Spikes. So that anything that comes in takes um, Toxic Spikes. Um, only two things on his team are immune to it. This Klefki and the Aerodactyl, because Aerodactyl flies. But everything else takes Toxic Spikes damage, which is nice. So, unfortunately he goes into Klefki, which really, really sucks because now he can get his Spikes up, he can get Screens up, or he can just Thunder Wave me. He actually ends up going for the Spikes, which is actually really, really bad. And if I can't get Crobat into the Fog later, these spikes are going to be a big, big issue because Crobat is literally my only hazard remover, which really, really blows. So here I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt, I believe. It's a Specs Thunderbolt. I did not think he was going to just switch in Crocodile right away, so that's why I went for Thunderbolt. And looking at this damage that it did with the inclusion of the poison made me wonder if I can maybe take it out. But I really did not want to lose Raikou here from due to an Earthquake, or even in this case... Um, with um, Scott, the freaking devastating Drake. Unfortunately, I wasn't. I didn't expect this move. Honestly, like I wasn't expecting him to go for a dragon type move because I have Sylveon in my team. So I kind of figured that the switch into Sylveon would be very, very obvious. But then again, Hacks versus do carry Poison Jam most of the time. So it, I, he probably figured that I that send, he probably figured that I knew that um, sending in Sylveon would be way too risky considering these things can carry Poison Jab. And if he got a Dragon Dance up, it would have just Poison Jabbed me once, and he might have been able to take out my Sylveon. So, yeah, he kind of made the right play right there in going for the Dragon move, because I really, really was afraid of that um, uh, Earthquake on Raikou. So, that's why I switched in Swampert. But, yeah, the good news is that this thing is still weakened enough to um, that it's going to die to Poison eventually. But here, after I go for Stealth Rocks with Swampert, I actually switch in Crobat because, again... I was just too afraid of sending in Sylveon on the off chance he tries to go for the um, Poison Jab, especially now that he got his Dragon Dance up, which is what I thought he was going to do the first time I sent in Swampert, but he didn't. Not to mention, if he got the Dragon Dance up and then went for the Z-move, he would have taken out my Swampert. That might have been the whole game, in all honesty, <laughs> but it wasn't in this case. And I think, not to mention, it was also necessary for me to um, lose Crobat here, because if I send in Sylveon and he went for Outrage, which was what I was predicting, um... He would have just been able to switch up his moves after going for Outrage, so I really couldn't risk that, honestly. Or should I say, I couldn't make that play because then he'll just go for Poison Jab and kill my Sylveon. That's not what I wanted. So I had to sack Crobat, which really, really sucks because he got spikes up earlier and I still haven't gotten rid of them. But now that I lost Crobat, now I can't do anything about it. He's going to go into this Vivalon, try to get that Quiver Dance going, but he wants to put me to sleep first, which is actually r ridiculous. So, um, thankfully he misses, and then I went for Hyper Voice. Took it out because it took a lot of Stealth Rocks damage prior. And now he's going to go into Aerodactyl. Now seeing how he sends in Aerodactyl instantly told me that maybe this is a Iron Heading one. Even though it may not have been because um, he doesn't even go for it. In fact right here I say Sack Nihiligo because I figured this is the only thing I can Sack. If he predicts me and goes for Earthquake then then I'm just screwed. He actually ends up going for Stone Edge. So, and this is also enough to KO my Nihiligo unfortunately. Not that it matters because my Nihiligo wasn't even scarfed to a power gem or anything. 
So I was kind of screwed no matter what with that. But I did switch out and I lost my Heligo. Now I'm going to send in Swampert. Hope to take a hit. I was hoping he'd switch out so I can like stall something. But he just stays in and loses Aerodactyl which is like... At first I thought this was pretty good. In fact it is very good because now I don't have to worry about Aerodactyl. But the problem now is that he brings in this Crocodile. And because no longer do I have my Yappa Berry on this Swampert. Now he can just KO me. And I did not want that, so I switched in Sylveon here to take the Earthquake a little bit better. I was hoping that even after Spikes, I would be able to still take this Earthquake okay. And as you can see right here, it actually is able to take it okay. So what I wanted to do here is after getting Leftovers Recovery, I wanted to go for Protect on the off chance he tries to bank on getting a crit, which was probably a bad idea. But at the same time, because of these Spikes, I also wasn't like very... Um, willing to just switch out and take more spikes damage on something else in all honesty because right now i'm out of um spikes immunities like i'm out of pokemon that are immune to spikes this this entire team is grounded for the most part and it doesn't take spikes very well and i just lost my only hazard remover which is really really unfortunate here he goes on the Klefki. i go for the wish he goes for the thunder wave um i'm gonna switch out into swampert after this because what i wanted to do was see if i can pass some hp into swampert which unfortunately, well, well, yeah, it wasn't enough, unfortunately, because these spikes are really just getting the better out of me right now. Because I don't have Crobat, I can't get rid of the spikes. But these spikes are biting me in the rear end really, really badly right now. And the worst part is that he's getting more spikes, spikes because he knows he can now. If he loses Klefki, it's not a big deal to him because he can just get all of his spikes up and not worry about a thing. So I switch in Sumper right here to get the HP with the Wish. And here I go for Earthquake because I was kind of hoping he wouldn't have the Magnet Rise. I feel like, I don't know, I just didn't think it would be that standard now considering we have Zygarde running around with 1000 arrows. So I didn't think Magnet Rise would be that useful, but apparently it still is. And he, and he went for it and um, after going for a Skull hoping for the burn and not getting it, I figured, you know what, let's just switch into Swampert. Because this guy, the only thing he's going to do is just get the remainder of his spikes um, up as well. And he does. This is the third layer of spikes now. I go into Raikou. What I wanted to do was scare him into the Crocodile again. So here what I do is actually make a risky play and just stay in and go for Thunderbolt. He could easily switch into Crocodile if he wanted to. So I stay in and he actually does stay in and go and takes the Thunderbolt. It does a lot to this Klefki. I could even two-shot it from right here if I wanted to. But the problem here now is that I wanted to double here into Sharpedo anticipating the switch back into Crocodile. But I, for some reason, thought that maybe he'll just stay in to go for more play rough. And not to mention, he's going for play rough on the Klefki. If I switch in Sharpedo and take a freaking play rough, I might just go down. And that's not what I wanted. In fact, Sharpedo was kind of my win condition in this battle, in all honesty. Here I switch out because obviously I don't want to take an Earthquake. And after these spikes, unfortunately, like I'm literally bound to lose something um, to this damn Crocodile. Which really, really sucks. What I wanted to do here was let something die, and unfortunately Sylveon was the only one I could get rid of because Sylveon, with only Hyper Voice being its move, it can't really do much to the um, Klefki nor the, um, um, what's it called, Arcanine that he had in the back of his team. So after losing Sylveon here, I just sent in Sharpedo, and I go for Protect here. In all honesty, you're going to find out in a bit that this, honestly, he didn't have to switch out here. You're going to find out why. Because look, I go for Protect, get plus one speed, because he switched into Klefki here. I honestly was very, very um, afraid of the play rough at coming afterwards. So what I did here was Mega Evolve instantly to at least take out this um, this Klefki. I was gonna stay as regular Sharpedo and go for Crunch, but I didn't think because of the um, thun um, play rough. I was thinking, no, no, no. I want to get rid of this thing because I, if I wanna, if I'm gonna lose, at least get rid of this Klefki. But um, as you can see, he went for Thunder Wave, and I was like, what the? I thought he, I honestly thought that he knew that prankster doesn't affect dark types these days so i'm honestly surprised that he actually went for that if if i knew that he did not know that that prankster was would affect dark types or wouldn't affect dark types i would have definitely have gone for a crunch as regular sharpedo and then mega evolved so i can have plus two speed because as you can see in this portion of the battle sharpedo has never had the need to switch out here all it needed to do was spam crunch Scrunch, and after this defense drop on this defensive as sin arcanine i was definitely in a good position had i had the plus two speed and why do i bring up the plus two speed you ask you're gonna find out in a bit right here after i take out this arcanine because yes i am gonna take out this arcanine eventually after a, a sequence of a bunch of 50 50s here in the sense that i'm here trying to protect hoping he doesn't go for extreme speed on me and i mispredict one turn and he actually ends up going for Morning Sun. For some reason, I kind of forgot he would even go for Morning Sun. 
even though this is a defensive Arcanine. And I think here I just go for more crunches. I think he goes for uh, an E-Speed. Yeah, he goes for an E-Speed and I go for Crunch. I survive, thankfully. Now here is once again where the other 50-50 comes in. Because he's poisoned, it's only going to take me predicting him once again to either go for Extreme Speed or go for Morning Sun again. I was ho hoping he goes for E-Speed. So I went for Protect right here. And as a result, he actually ends up going for E-Speed, which is good, which means I made the right prediction here. And now this Arcanine is going to go down to Poison, thankfully. Because if that Leftover saved him from the Poison um, KO, that would have just been way too unfortunate. But here's where the moment of truth comes. Here comes Crocodile. Um, unfortunately, I decided to make a dumbass play here and go for Protect again. I completely forgot that I already went for Protect on the Arcanine. But because so much time passed, I kind of just forgot that I, uh, I already protected it, so I didn't. Um, so I ended up losing Charpedo to this Scarf to Crocodile with an earthquake and now this thing gets a moxie boost and my raikou is not scarf so i don't outspeed this thing with raikou and swamp bird is already weakened that and thanks to these spikes by the way i'm just gonna go down to another earthquake so basically i'm gonna lose this battle but let me tell you something i lost this battle when i didn't get the plus two speed with sharpedo because i honestly thought that with klefki he was just gonna go straight for the play rough little did i realize that he that um he didn't even know that Prankster wouldn't affect Dark type, so the fact that I just Mega Evolve instantly with only plus one speed really just um that really put the nail in the coffin basically. Like that guaranteed that I lose basically later on. Because there was honestly nothing I could do to this Raikou, honestly. I'd have to protect stall him and my Sharpedo was already weakened thanks to the Arcanine, so there was literally nothing I could have done there. So as you can see, this thing literally just sweat uh late game sweat me. And that was kinda what I was afraid of throughout this entire match. But I mean the, Kl the Klefki and the Arcanine were kind of pressuring me in the back as well, so I kind of really was put in a position where I kind of put my priorities aside for that dang Crocodile. And I just ended up um, losing in the end. And again, the plus two speed on the Sharpedo, the fact that I didn't get that, it really, really cost me the battle, because if I had plus two speed on the Sharpedo, I would have been able to outspeed um, the Scarf Crocodile, because yeah, fun fact, my Sharpedo was adamant, and Sharpedo that's adamant, even Mega, while getting that 10 speed boost, um, it's not enough to outspeed a Jolly Scarf, um, Crocodile, unfortunately. Yeah, and I actually asked Scott if his Crocodile was Jolly, and he said, yeah, it was, it was Jolly. Jolly Scarf. Scarf, I figured it out when he kept only locking himself to certain moves. But, um, the fact that it was Jolly just basically said, yep, you, you basically lost, which I did, basically. So, yeah, that's the whole game. That was a pretty good battle, nonetheless. It was a pretty long battle, and it was a well-played battle. That was actually one of the cleanest of battles right there, not gonna lie. Um from your boy Scott. I'm actually kind of happy that this guy was able to deliver on a good battle because I was actually afraid of him being a one-dimensional type of battler because I remember when I saw him battling Hayden, he had a team full of mons that only set up and sweep. So I thought he was going to try to do something like that with me, but no. This guy just had some, um, I guess, ingenious setup attempts that will instantly just set him up without trying to set up and then win. And that's exactly what he did here with Crocodile. He got a KO, got the setup he needed, and then was able to win. So, not even bad. Good game, um, Scott. That was a pretty good battle. Thank you for the battle, dude. And thank you all for watching this pretty close battle. I'll catch you guys in the next battle, but for now, just take it easy.